The Book of Numbers is divided up really into three sections. There's the preparations for traveling in the wilderness, uh, there's the section of traveling in the wilderness, and then there's the preparation for the invasion that's going to come later on in the Book, book of Joshua. Um, that preparations for traveling in the wilderness also contains the section that really gives the Book of Numbers its English name, uh, that is the census of all of the 12 tribes, the numbers uh, that you get which makes it sound like a sort of boring book, I think, Numbers. I like the Hebrew title, but Hebrew title better, In the Wilderness. It's much more, I don't know, kind of like that. They didn't ask me. Anyway, the numbers that come from the census really make us ask the question, how many ancient Hebrews are there? Uh, if you add up the traditional translations of the numbers of people in the wilderness, you get the number 600,000 men of fighting age. Uh, that is an astronomical number. That would be about two to two and a half million people that came out of Egypt. There are some biblical and some practical problems understanding the translation that way. Um, first of all, the land of Goshen uh, would not have been able to support that many people, which is where the ancient Hebrews were coming from. Um, the land of Canaan really wouldn't have been able to support that many people going in, which is where they were going. Um, from a biblical thing, there are clues that we might be, under, that we might be understanding that number wrong as well. Um, the very beginning of Exodus, uh, all the Hebrew midwives come to Pharaoh. There were two of them two midwives to try to attend a population of two and a half million. That's about a hundred births a day that two women would have had, to, they would have needed superpowers to be able to maintain that many. Um, biologically, the 430 year per time period that Israel was supposed to be in Egypt, 70 people went down. 70 people don't produce two and a half million in 430 years, closer to 10,000 biologists say. Um, uh, unless the ancient Israelites were having a litter of puppies every time they had babies. It was just it was too many. The numbers were just far, far too big. Uh, when they first get into the Promised Land in the book of Jericho, excuse me, the book of Joshua, after Jericho, uh, they go to fight the Battle of Ai, where they suffer a crushing defeat, 36 men. I don't know if 36 men would be considered a crushing defeat if your army is 600,000. Um, and really on a practical level, as far as God is concerned, two million people don't fit the story. The story is not that God took a really large people that really didn't have to rely on anybody um, and, and took them off to, out, of, out of Egypt. The truth is two million people can go wherever 200 million people want to go. 600,000 men of fighting age vastly outnumbers Egypt's army. They would have been able to take off and go whenever they wanted to go. Maybe the people around the edges might have died, but most of the people would get there. And if 600,000 people, I think some folks wouldn't even get into the, the Dead Sea or the Red Sea before the other line is entering the promised land. It's a lot of people. And there may be some clues, as I say, biologically and practically, that show that we might be understanding that number thousand wrong. Uh, the real difficulty is how do you translate the Hebrew word aleph? Uh, originally, etymologically, the word was connected to the head of cattle. Uh, actually, the word aleph, the, the letter aleph, actually is represented by a head of cattle. Our letter A is actually that flipped over as it came through the Phoenician alphabet. Later on, that number, Aleph, head of cattle, became the number that individual families or towns would have to supply for a military draft. Six to 15 people uh, would be that city's Aleph, uh, that unit that they would have to go in there. Eventually, the term grows to become a much larger number, um, a thousand. So there are places where it means a thousand and uh, places where it means, obviously, a head of cattle and other things. Uh, recounting the book of numbers with the word Aleph as unit could give the number closer to 20,000 uh, instead of 2 million. Um, that number fits the story pretty well. Um, that would give 6,000 men of fighting age. Uh, and that would give you uh, a story of a small people that relied upon God to, to move them and transport them. And I think I can handle uh, Israel being twice as fruitful as normal rather than uh, having, as they say, to have a litter of puppies as they go. Uh, the truth of the matter is the number is just hard to understand. Uh, whether we re redo that number, Aleph, or we say that there's some other way in which we're reading the text uh, that the ancients read better than we did, don't really know for sure. It's the numbers are problematic no matter how you slice them. I simply wanted you to be aware of that uh, as we look at the text.